Hello everybody, my name is Ospace. Today I wanted to try out some Abyss in the Enforcer. Now this is our first time I'm actually flying an Enforcer and I'm flying it on the test server because everything is really cheap here on the test server. Now the reason I have never flown an Enforcer is because they're so expensive. Each one costs about 500 million and they have really mediocre bonuses. They don't have, uh, they have like, they have bonuses to each ship, uh, each type of module. So they have bonuses to hybrid turrets, they have bonuses to artillery turret or uh, projectile turrets, missiles and everything, but the bonuses are not that great. So they're never really, it's not really that popular use in the abyss because of how it's lo got low damage output. It's quite all right tank though, because the tank is increased by the amount of uh, security status you have. So the shield boost, it will be increased by that. Uh, I'm, I've got these, I'll use these high grade uh, crystal implants to give me a bit of uh, extra shield boost when I'm in the abyss. Let's plug these guys in. So what I'm going to be running here is I'm going to start out with some uh, electricals because uh, electricals will give me capacitor boost and that'll make me break cap stable and it'll be chill. By right, filament here, I'll start in a T3 because uh, I don't know if this will be able to handle T4s. I hope it will be able to handle T4s, but we're going to start in, in T3. I definitely know it'll be able to handle T2s though. So let's go to the safe. And I'm using kind of like uh, two weapons because uh, it has launchers and the turret hard points for extra DPS, but the main weapon is the heavy assault missiles. Let's go for the void. And use this weapon fire for some extra uh, applicability. Uh, apart from uh, the like the mediocre stats of the of the enforcer, you can see here it's got some good uh, web of fire range, 18 kilometers. Um, like they're not they're not like it doesn't give you that much absolute damage from these stats, but I think the ship looks really good, a really good looking ship. So if there's actually a way to find a use for it, I definitely want to use this more on tranquility. Let's go in. Let's see how this goes. I'm surprised this cap stable with an MWD and the shield booster in the normal space. Usually a Gila can't even run an MWD at cap stability, let alone at the same time as a shield booster. We should have very good recharge around. Yeah, look at that boss capacitor, 40 units, energy units per second. Let's go now. Uh, so forget about the upholders. Let's go for the wardens. And we go into this, um, this uh, blue cloud over here to get some extra stability. Let's get some missiles in the sky. Let's go see. Are we landing with these? Yeah, we are actually. That's the most optimal range of the. Okay. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. I did not expect this much damage. Stop oh, uh, the afterburner. Oh, MWD. Okay, come on now. Oh! What the heck? I didn't expect this much damage. Let's go for the cruisers first. Let's go for null. Let's get it faster now. Ah, uh, what the hell? This is soap. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be that particularly good for the abyss. I have a feeling this automatic suppress is actually making our Missiles do a lot less damage. Ah, oh, what the hell? Okay. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Over the cruiser now. Boosted up holders uh, and watchmen are actually quite characterized by doing a lot of damage. So I'll go for them first. I should have gone for them first. I just didn't, ex didn't expect our tank to be such some crap. I thought it would be a lot better. Are we using a C type medium weapon with a single multi spectrum shield hard tier 2? So that's kind of expected to not be a that good tank. but thought it would be a bit better than that. Now the reason I turned off the MWD is because um, I don't, uh, they're shooting missiles from the Lucid Upholders and if I have the MWD on my signature radius will become bigger and they'll apply much better but I, in actuality maybe the speed would have helped me but I was being webbed a lot. I'm not sure. Our range is quite crap, 25 kilometers. Let's see now. Let's get close to the transfer conduit. Oh wait, we do not want to overheat. <laughs> no, we do not want to overheat. Now we're being retarded if we burnt out a shield booster there. Let's 
probably would have been better with an afterburn actually now that i think about it since we'd be able to go faster we wouldn't have been able to we won't get tackled by scrams use less capacitor maybe we wouldn't even have to have a cam battery then because we'll have so good capacity in these electricals but i think it's always good to have at least one capacitor battery because then you get that sick sick newt resistance okay let's go back let's hope we don't fail so hard on the next room all right let's go reload and rearm let's go in i'm not taking the loot because i'm on the test server so no point of me taking that let's see now what wave do we have here oh i see this being a big problem uh we want to get this tangling dude right here starvers should be no issue we've got good cap stability and i think this will maybe be the end of us Let's see now. I, uh, we're going at also quite crap speeds. I would have expected a bit faster from the MWD. Only 1.3k a second is quite bad actually for an MWD. We're taking damage from the VEDMAC. Yep, I thought so. Alright, get out of range. We do not need, we do not need this. Come on. Let's just web him a bit. Then we can get out of his range. We've not got so much heat though. That's the problem. We've not got so much heat. To oh, boundary. Did not want to go in the boundary. And we're out of range of our heavy assault missiles actually. Just have to get a bit closer now. Oh, Cap's holding really well though. Take out the VEDMAC and it should be all good. We're all good after the VEDMAC. We could use more bling. I mean, we've got very cheap uh, tank modules. So now it's only Damovix left, so it should be smooth from here. Take a sip of my tea. Head towards the Origin Conduit. It's nice that we have this sick web range. Like you can web anything in this, and we've also got the Fed Navy one, so it increases it even more. Standard webs have like ten kilometers. Let's go towards the buy adaptive cash action. Let's go, let's go straight into the straight into the conduit right here. That was good. That was good. Good target prioritization there. I wanted to take out that Vedmac ASAP because of how deadliest damage was you know it's fun because they uh, in the trailer for the abyss they showed uh, an enforcer dying to just a couple of damavix uh, like uh, because the first ship that, that concord sent to the abyss to test out like oh what is this like according to law was an enforcer and uh, it's funny how it eventually died to damavix so like just already in the trailer shows how crap the enforcer is the abyss it would be so nice if this ship was able to run the biscuit because it looks just so damn good. It looks really good. I love the sleek design. Cool blue color as well. I hope it's some battleship wave because that'll be uh, damn easy where we're just getting close. Oh, oh my. You know, this is big problem. Big problems right here. We may not survive. We may not survive. The thing is, okay, we do not want to be in a tracking pylon. Get out of range. This guy, take, eat missiles take out these anchorings because without the i want to maybe w actually web the ved mac to keep him out of range there we go keep the ved mac out of range with the web right there reduces uh, speed actually no we're gonna have to web the damavix more because we want to be able to apply quickly we want to get these damavix off us asap only two left come on only two left overheat a little bit oh, they're all around us oh i'm gonna have to overheat a little bit okay overheat overheat guns overheat get out of here red mac we don't need you We do not want to overheat more. We've got too much heat in our. But we can hold it. We have can afford the heat in our guns. Come on. 
do not want to overheat too much on our guns. Ah, oh, he's doing lots of damage. I get our MWD up ASAP. MWD is up. Let's go. Let's go. Web you, fool. Get out of range. Oh, overheat one cycle. Should be enough to get us out of range. Yep, and the web is helping. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. All right, we're going to take out the other dynamics then afterwards to reduce remote reps. Always go for the trade lavings before anything. We've got some rogue drones on grid as well. Rogue drones are going to... Uh, should I slip out a blast because this uh, this guy, uh, Vedmak, is too far away. He's getting closer. Okay, to web him. It's nice, this good web range, you know. You call sick webs. Sick web range. I get the blasters on this dynamic over here. Okay, web this guy now. Yep. Vedmak down. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now it should be smooth sailing. Yeah. All right, we finished a T3 electrical in the Enforcer at actually all right time. I mean, just under above 10 minutes will be. Gila does that obviously better. But for how crap this fit is, I mean, we've got this C-type T2 damage mods as well. And the C-type and single uh, adaptive invom. Uh, that was a pretty successful run right there. Uh, I mean, I was survived. I uh, surprised I survived right there. I thought I was gonna die the first wave actually, or that second wave, with uh, all the Triglavians engulfing me. Just killed the remaining things. And look, this is what I mean. In my last video, in when I was running darks, so I was talking about how the skybox changes in the abyss from time to time, and like here, you can see you got a really light. Um, skybox i like i love this skybox actually it looks like the sky like we're in low earth orbit but obviously that's not the case like, oh, like i really love this pattern i've also noticed that uh the lower tier filaments so we're running tier three here tend to have lighter backgrounds but you can sometimes have a bit of variation like once when i ran a t5 it was a bit of a lighter background not as light as this but a bit lighter sometimes it's almost pitch black in a t5 electrical so it really depends it depends and this looks like a really hostile environment. Like, imagine living in not what no wonder the Triglavians want to invade us because it looks like a really like a death realm over here. Death realm, death realm. Actually, <laughs> there's a game I play called League of Legends, and the champion I use called Mordecai so banishes people to the death realm, and you where you have like a 1v1. Uh, I just happened to say that because I'm so used to referring to the word death realm. Okay, so that was successful T3 electrical in the Enforcer. I have no um, no hope that it will survive a T4. But we can try. We can try and see how far we go. See, maybe we get a lucky spawn and able to kill it. So let's restock and rearm and go for a T4. You know, I think actually... I think uh, Enforcer could do a T4 if uh, a blinged out tank mods then I think it definitely could survive it. Because, I mean, with a bit of overheating management and using the web to keep the high damage targets at range, we were able to survive T3, so... And Vedmax is one of the highest DPS waves that exist. So if we were to just bling out the tank modules enough, then we could probably... But let's see if this cheap one here can do a raging electrical. Very unlikely, but who knows? Maybe we get lucky, or maybe we just so good that we can take ourselves through a raging electrical i mean the thing is i want to film us even if we die um the thing is like i notice in eve online videos a lot especially pvp ones people always film them winning you just like i already know when i watch a pvp video look at me i have like a 1v5 and i already know okay yeah, you're gonna win you know i know you're gonna win they put some dubstep music <laughs> and then i i know that you're gonna win they're all the same these eve online pvp videos pve um, i mean i'm trying to say this same thing with pve but i mean i want to still show if i die it's quite still quite fun to see how people die i find it quite interesting at least to watch people die like the streamer torvald auras seeing him die it's quite entertaining so i want to show you guys that uh, you people actually do die in eve as well not thinking that people are just in turbo dunk people all the time delicious tea by the way raging electrical let's go okay so this is now starving uh, leshax now, this will probably be an issue because we have good cap, 
But I don't know if we'll have good enough cap to survive for a starving leg check. This is the strongest neuter that you can get. And oh, and we're getting annihilated by these high tracking. Then you have multi body tracking pylon. Uh, this may be it, guys. This may be it. This may be it. Let's see now. Come on. Wait, we're going the wrong way. Stop. Go this way. Come on. Yep. We died straight away. And that was a bit of a piloting error for me. I went the wrong direction. But honestly, I don't think we would have survived anyway. The starving lay uh up close, they can, one of them is enough to drain a, 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 like half your or a large, por significant portion of capacitor in one cycle. We had like three or four of them. That will insta melt my capacitor. There, there is like, even if we have a good recharge, it's just gonna like one tap the whole capacitor and our shield boost will go offline. It perhaps would have been worth there to go and charge in straight away, like get really close, because if we're really close, they wouldn't have been able to uh, track us, and there were no webbing ones as well. So that could have been another improvement on my side. But I think it's important that you like show these failures because you like learn from them, learn how to do, what to do in the future. So that was it for this video, guys. That's how you, uh, or that's my experience of running a T4, uh, uh, an Enforcer in the Abyss. Seems to be able to just about handle T3s, definitely not T4s, uh, at least with a T2 or basic fit. Perhaps you could if you use a lot of bling. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.